I started this. You have to let me stop it. Make sure you win. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 moments from Supergirl. Think you can keep up, Girl of Steel? <laughs> oh, just you watch Scarlet Speedster. For this list, we'll be looking at the best scenes from the Kryptonian heroines TV series. We'll only look at her own show, so moments from superhero crossovers will be saved for another list. If you haven't seen all six seasons of Supergirl, beware of spoilers ahead. What's your favorite Supergirl moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Supergirl Saves a Plane National City Airlines Flight 237 bound for Geneva is experiencing some loss of altitude. A pilot seems to be circling the city after apparent engine failure. Throughout her teenage years and early adulthood on Earth, Kara Danvers, also known as Kara Zor-El, hid the fact that she's an alien. That meant she had to keep her superpowers and the fact that she's Superman's cousin under wraps too. But when the plane her adopted sister Alex is flying on is sabotaged, Kara doesn't hesitate to fly into action. The rescue is far more complicated than just catching the vehicle. Kara has to carefully guide the plane over a bridge in order to save everyone. Fortunately, she succeeds in the feat of strength, thanks to quick thinking. Even in the first episode, we saw Kara was willing to reveal a long-kept secret to save the people she loves. You're out there now, Kara. Everyone will know about you and you can't take that back. I, I don't want to. Number 19. Kara confronts her mother's hologram. Did you use me to get Astro arrested? Hello, Kara. Don't say my name right now. Did you use me to draw Astra out of hiding? Years after Kara thought she lost her entire family, she was able to talk to a hologram of her mother, Allura. Supergirl consistently sought wisdom and counsel from the program without question for some time. But when Kara's aunt, Astra, suggests that the digital creation of Allura might not be trustworthy, the heroine confronts her false mother. Melissa Benoist does a great job at portraying Supergirl's anguish when the hologram reveals that it had been deceptive. You left me! You left me alone! You sent me away! How could you do that? I'm not programmed to give you anything. <laughs> And although Kara isn't talking to her actual mother, their falling out still feels real and heartbreaking. After this emotional conversation deeply hurt Supergirl, she got a chance to heal when she eventually reunited with her real mother. Mom. Kara. Is that you? Number 18. Supergirl uses everything to defeat Red Tornado. I don't say this often, but I am craving a good fight right now. But just keep your cool. You got this. Once the military completed building a strong android codenamed Red Tornado, they asked Supergirl to test its might. But after she beats up for a while, the machine appears to go rogue. Supergirl is later forced to confront the Red Tornado after the reveal that it was being controlled by a third party. When the android still keeps going after its operator is defeated, Kara has to push herself to her limits. No commands are being transmitted to the android. Kara has become sentient. In a stunning scene, Supergirl channels all her negative emotions into one continuous laser blast. We can feel everything she's going through as the scene cuts between flashbacks and the present. When Supergirl finally emerges triumphant, it feels like we've been on an emotional roller coaster with a satisfying payoff. Supergirl, are you okay? <sighs> I'm, I'm here. I'm. I'm okay. Number 17. Kara confronts Lena. I'm not who you think I am. I'm Supergirl. After Lena realizes she's one of the last people in the friend group to know Kara is Supergirl, the relationship between the two crumbles. Fortunately, the Kryptonian is given a chance to go back in time and confess her secret earlier in the 100th episode. This gave the show a creative way to look back and led to a great moment between Kara and Lena. Once Supergirl realizes there was never a good time to be truthful, she confronts her friend. I recognize I made a mistake in hiding my identity from you for so long, but the past is the past. And I can't change it. Forgive me or not, that's your choice. Instead of begging for forgiveness, Kara warns Lena not to step out of line because of bad feelings. This strong conversation served as a great reminder that sometimes we have to accept our mistakes to move forward. If you continue to work with Lex, if you go through with whatever it is the two of you are planning, I will do everything in my power to stop you. 
just like I would any other villain. Number 16, John Jones reveals his true identity. I am not Hank Henshaw. He died the same night as your father. Both the audience and most of the heroes thought Hank Henshaw was in charge at the Department of Extra Normal Operations. Although this leader came off as cold, there was evidence he could care about people deeply. But it turned out that there was a good reason that Hank projected such a rough demeanor. After he displays extraordinary abilities while trying to stop a psychic villain, Alex pushes him to explain where his strength comes from. His emotional story ends with the reveal that he is a ridiculously famous Martian. Who are you? I am the sole survivor of my planet. This moment was a fantastic plot twist that would greatly improve many aspects of the series. The scene also gave the beloved yet underused Martian Manhunter the chance to start shining in live action. My name is John Jones. Number 15, Cat Grant discovers Kara is Supergirl. Miss Grant, I'm sorry you think what you think, but it's not true. I'm not Supergirl. Don't you hate it when your boss figures out your secret identity? It happened to Kara in season one, when Cat Grant realizes her mild-mannered assistant Kara might moonlight as Supergirl. Although the Kryptonian tries to brush off these accusations, her boss remains convinced of her discovery. In order to protect her true identity and keep her job, Kara's shape-shifting friend John pretends to be Supergirl while she appears as Kara. James Olsen said you wanted to see me, something about you thinking your assistant was me? Oh, for God's sake, are we gonna keep on playing this tiresome game? I told you it wasn't a game, Miss Grant. The idea of this impersonation is clever, witty, and lighthearted. And even though we later learn that Kat figured it out anyway, this scene still shines. Kara showed us that her human life and career is just as important as her heroic pursuits. You know, I wouldn't have minded you coming to work for the DEO full time. I can't leave this place. Number 14, Brainy stops the big bads. During season five, Brainy alienates his friends and works with Lex Luthor in an attempt to stop a group of powerful elemental villains. We've come all this way. I, we, we've done all those terrible things so that I could sneak aboard the Leviathan ship and upload the mortality code so that I could kill the immortals. But after all the hero's hard work, he finds out that the new plan is to let his friends die to save the world. Brainy refuses to accept this plot and puts his own life on the line to stop the elemental villains. The upload will take 10 minutes. I don't know if I can last that long. You can. I'll be with you the whole way. Although the process is extremely painful for him, he proves how strong and noble he is by facing certain death to protect his friends. Fortunately, Brainy's plan isn't the end of his story. This scene turns out to be a triumphant high point in the hero's long career. I been you. Number 13, Supergirl leaves her perfect life. How are you suffering from the effects of a creature called the Black Mercy? It's created this illusion to incapacitate you back on Earth. Earth? It's where you've been for the past 12 years. By the time Kara arrived on Earth, she had seen her home planet of Krypton explode and had to cope with the loss of her family. So when an alien parasite leaves her trapped in an illusion where her family and home are still intact, it becomes nearly impossible for her to leave. But with some emotional words from her adopted sister Alex, Kara decides to leave the hallucination. Yes, remember that life with James and Wynn and Hank. Your friends need you. And I need my sister. This leads to a heart-wrenching moment that has Supergirl saying goodbye to the family she lost. Fortunately, Kara gets revenge against the villain who put her through this cruel gauntlet. It also helped that her loved ones in the real world were there to support her in the end. I chose to come back because I realized that I belong here with you, my family. Number 12, Supergirl and Superman save a rocket together. Need a hand? Hey, cuz. It's good to see you. This looks like a job for the both of us. Absolutely. Supergirl seems to have a knack for saving giant things falling from the sky. When a spacecraft's engines are sabotaged and it starts to plummet towards Earth, Supergirl and her cousin Superman fly off to save it. Although this is the first time that the two have ever worked together, it's almost like second nature to them. It's fun to watch them quickly bring the spaceship down in a cornfield. That was awesome! 
I mean, that was terrible, but it was right. awesome. <laughs> We've never saved anything together. As they celebrate their successful rescue with excitement and glee, we see the strong bond the superpowered cousins share. This fantastic scene was just the opener to many more fun and strong family team ups. Way to go, Supergirl. That's Superman. I used to change his diapers. No way. <laughs> Uh, not exactly sure you have to tell them that. No, I think I, I really do. Number 11. Lena and Kara bury the hatchet. You have never understood what it means to share a secret identity with someone, how much danger that puts them in. You, you, you never even understood that I kept my identity from you because I wanted to protect you. Watching the once close Lena and Kara barely being able to stand next to each other for a portion of season five was difficult for fans. The duo that had constantly supported and trusted each other for multiple seasons had been torn apart by secrets. But when the world was threatened, the duo worked together to stop the big bads. When all the dust had settled, the two had a long awaited conversation. I may never know what was driving her, but. I do know what was driving you. You didn't want to tell me who you really were because you didn't want me to get hurt. Both acknowledged the mistakes they made throughout their friendship, but they were also open about how important they were to each other. By the time the credits rolled, it felt like Lena and Kara's tattered friendship was finally healing. I wasn't ready to accept your apology, but maybe, maybe I am now. Number 10. Wynn returns as a fully-fledged hero. At the beginning of the series, Wynn was your stereotypical quirky tech guy, but he goes through a serious upgrade after living in the future. Wynn? What are you doing here? Saving Sister Donalds and my future. Have you seen Toy Man? Upon returning to the past, Wynn reveals that he's now a capable superhero. He has no problem stepping out from behind a computer to confront enemies and even his own evil doppelganger. And although his dad was an evil villain named Toy Man, Wynn volunteers to take the name to turn the moniker from a dark title to a shining beacon. He was right. So I'm gonna reclaim that name and make a stand for good. It's fantastic to see how far Wynn had come since the very beginning of the series. While he couldn't stick around for long, it was still satisfying to know Toy Man was out there saving lives. It's like the doctor said, the future is whatever you want, she'll make it a good one. Number nine, Supergirl's speech frees the people from mind control. So, Supergirl's plan is to broadcast a symbol? Of hope. Of hope with a speech. In the season one finale, Supergirl struggles to free the citizens of National City from the villainous Non's mind control device. After being forced to fight her sister Alex, Kara realizes that a message of hope is enough to free a person's mind. Supergirl then teams up with her remaining allies to give an improvised speech that's broadcast across the city. The stirring monologue is full of emotion, heart, and inspiration. But I found out. But there is so much love in this world, out there for the taking. She displays all her best qualities, her courage, her resilience, and her ability to hope in the darkest times. Supergirl's speech definitively proved that she isn't a heroine just because of what she can do. Kara's honest words and kind heart are her most powerful traits. It's working. It works. <laughs> Number eight, Alex confesses what she did to Kara's aunt. Fear not, Martian. He will die a soldier's death. Kara's Aunt Astra was willing to hurt a lot of people to achieve her twisted goals. But Supergirl's sister Alex put an end to the villain's scheming permanently with a kryptonite sword. However, Martian Manhunter pretends that he was the one who slayed Kara's aunt. There was a fight. And... I killed her. I'm sorry, but I could see no other way. Initially, this lie drives a rift between Supergirl and John Jones. But after the tension between them builds to an unbearable point, Alex tells her sister what really happened. Hank didn't kill Astra. I did. I did. The confession is extremely emotional and impactful, thanks to a brilliant performance from Kyler Lee. While she expects her sister to walk away, Kara decides to embrace and forgive her sister. Seeing Supergirl reach out to John in the aftermath of the confession added another heartwarming layer to this raw scene. Number seven, Dreamer defeats a hateful enemy. Your boyfriend did this to you? Only pretended to like me. He targeted me so I could get this message to Dreamer. When Nia's friend Yvette went out for a date, it turned out she was being targeted by someone who hated people in the trans community. 
The attacker also wanted to lure out Dreamer because he resented that she was a well-received trans superhero. Nia then decides to make a fake dating profile to get the villain out in the open. Overwhelmed with rage, she nearly ends his life while in her Dreamer costume. I get it. Your fragile ego was just shattered. Your sense of self is so shaky that anything outside your narrow worldview threatens it. But Supergirl convinces Nia not to give in to anger and be better than the villain ever could be. The harrowing storyline serves as an extremely relevant plot that draws attention to real threats that trans people face. Seeing Nia confront and rise above a hateful enemy was powerful and moving. And if you ever make a move against anyone, in my community again, I will give you a nightmare you will never wake up from. Number six, Alex remembers who Kara is. DEO agent Alex sadly volunteers to erase her own memory to keep Supergirl's identity a secret. I have to. No, it's out of the question. Like, even if I could beat the truth seeker, there'd still be a danger that, that I would slip up. Unfortunately, Kara wasn't allowed to undo this noble sacrifice. But when Supergirl is badly beaten during a battle, all of Alex's memories start flooding back. The agent immediately runs to let her wounded sister know that she remembers everything. Oh, we're here, we're here, we're here together. And I, I, I know you, I, I know you better than anybody knows you. Just when it looks like it's too late, Kara finds a way to heal and see her Alex again. The powerful performance from Kyler Lee and the dramatic weight made this reunion into one of the show's most emotional moments. Fortunately, this wouldn't be the last time the two sisters shared a tender scene. Here, I'm here. I missed you so much. I really missed you. Number five, Kara flies back in time. There's no prison you can build that can contain me. There is no one on this planet of equal power that can kill me. Supergirl's long struggle against Rain seemingly ended in the middle of the climactic battles lost and won episode. Unfortunately, beating the villain led to the deaths of Kara's mother and two close allies. Before Supergirl stops to grieve, she realizes that there's still time to save them all. I need to go back in time like the Legion. She decides to use an ally's ring and a disruption in time to go back to an earlier point in the battle and save her loved ones. The imagery and circumstances of the scene serve as a direct homage to when Superman did something similar in the 1978 film. While we would have loved this moment for the callback alone, the fact that Supergirl beat Rain and saved her friends was icing on the cake. Welcome home. This one's for Ruben. Number four, John reunites with his father. John, who is it? It's my father. John Jones believed he was the only green Martian to survive a violent conflict on his planet. He was understandably shocked to discover his father was still alive. When the two first meet, John's dad, Marin, thinks the reunion was a cruel trick. Father, it's me. John, I lived. I, I fled to Earth. I survived. <laughs> You give yourself away! For the bulk of the episode, the two can't get on the same page, but a couple of brushes with death and the vision of an emotional memory allows John's dad to see the truth. His son is alive. What makes this tearful moment more powerful is the fact that Marin was played by Carl Lumley, who voiced John in many animated appearances. Seeing him embrace David Harewood's new Martian Manhunter felt like a beautiful passing of the torch. John. My son! Father! I missed you! I'm so sorry for not believing you! Number three, Supergirl defeats Superman. Cal, it's me, Kara! Oh, he doesn't see you. He sees his worst enemy. Thanks to a hunk of silver kryptonite, Superman is brainwashed into thinking his cousin Kara is his old enemy Zod. The confused Kryptonian immediately tries to take the heroine down, but Kara refuses to go down without a fight. Although Superman hits Supergirl with hit after hit, she endures and strikes back. After an intensely close battle, Kara puts everything she has into one final attack and knocks her cousin out. Hey, it's okay. I got you. I'm here. 
Supergirl's defeat of the immensely powerful Superman took an unfathomable amount of physical and emotional strength. Even Superman acknowledges how incredible it was that Kara defeated him when he was giving it his best. It didn't weaken me at all. It might have. No. No, I was at full strength and you beat me. Number two, Alex comes out to Kara. Maybe it's just a phase. You know, maybe it isn't real. No, it's real. You're real. And you deserve to have a real, full, happy life. One of the biggest strengths of the Supergirl series was how well it handled LGBTQ characters and relationships. Its strong reputation of representation really began with Alex. After spending time with the openly gay Maggie, the DEO agent decides to come out as gay to her sister. At first, Kara is confused and awkward about Alex's announcement. So she's gay? Yeah. And are you saying you're gay too? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. But their rocky conversation is soon followed by a much better talk. What made Alex's coming out scene so impactful was how authentic it felt. Instead of showing it as an easy and smooth process, everyone involved stumbles and struggles to express themselves. But in the end, Kara makes it clear that she accepts her sister as she is and will always support Alex going forward. I can't do this without you. I don't have to. What about Maggie? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Kara reveals her identity to the world. You guys are living your dreams. Somehow, I feel... <sighs> <laughs> Deflated. Even though Kara definitely deserved to celebrate after defeating two tremendous enemies in the series finale, she still felt torn in two. She felt unable to move forward while trying to split her time between her civilian and heroic identities. After struggling to choose how to proceed, her old mentor Kat Grant calls Kara for a funny and brutally honest pep talk. I hope that you will choose to become your full self, because that would really be something to see. And it would be interesting, because this is boring. Their conversation pushes Supergirl far out of her comfort zone, but ultimately, it was exactly the push she needed. Kara ultimately puts down her glasses and faces the world as her true self. Holding on an image of Kara beaming with glee as she reveals her secret to everyone was the perfect way to end the series. But tonight, it is my great honor to introduce to you Supergirl. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.